in exactly the same way. So n equal to 0, there is an a naught x r minus 2 and that would be your r over here. Then similarly you go n equal to 1, so that would be your 1 plus r a1 and x to the power n is your 1 this time. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1, this guy. So we are done with these two, right? Now I come to the p squared. So minus p squared, uh, a naught is your a naught, x to the power n is 0, so r minus 2. And this is when your n equal to 1, so minus p squared, a1. And that will be your r, x to the power r minus 1. Alrighty, now I'm going to start this with n equal to 2, n equal to 2, n equal to 2, and it's already from n equal to 2. So here I have written it. I'm starting rather than n equal to 0, I just started n equal to 2. So I just copy down right here, n equal to 2. This one also starts with n equal to 2. And this one is just this one, you know. This one is this, it doesn't, you know. And this one, I start from n equal to 2. I hope that it's clear. Plus, the term n equal to 0 and n equal to 1, which I have over here. I hope it is clear to you. These terms are expanded from n equal to 0 to n equal to 1. Then I start writing from n equal to 2. And this is the expansion from n equal to 0 to 1. So this is the whole thing over here. Now the right hand side of this equation is equal to 0. So the coefficient of every power of x on the left hand side must be equal to 0. That we have done before. We know this kind of a thing, you know, if you have a n, x n, you know, then for every n, uh, the coefficient of this has to be 0. You know, we have done this thing many times, I think. So, <clears throat> that's what it is. So, I'm going to say, okay, where is my, for every power of x, you know, okay, I have my r minus 2 here, r minus 2 here, I am r, r x to the power r minus, their coefficients must be equal to 0. So, so, the coefficient of this guy is r, r minus 1, a naught, the coefficient of this is r a naught, the coefficient of this is minus p squared a naught, that must be equal to zero. Now, in this one we say that I don't want a naught to be zero. All right, so a naught is not zero, I can divide it and I'm gonna get r, r minus one plus r minus p squared equal to zero. If you solve it, I get r squared minus p squared equal to zero. So r equal to plus minus p, that's my initial equation. That gives me two roots of p, two roots of r. Now, you know, what are these p's? You know, the solution is going to be one of these, you know. I've just written p over here. p is a number. And whether the integers or what they are, this whole solution is going to depend on that. But in any case, let's uh, proceed, on, uh, proceed on this thing. So we got our initial equation. We got the two roots of uh, r, you know. <clears throat> then I'm going to take this x to the power of r minus 1 term. So there are 1, 2, 3 terms. And their coefficient must be 0. So what I have here, I have r, r plus 1, and this a1 I have taken out. And this a1 over here, so r plus 1. And there's your minus p square over here, a1. Now if I put r equal to plus minus p here, this bracket, it's not equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, then a must, a1 must be equal to 0. Since r equal to plus minus p does not make this thing equal to 0, I'm saying a1 equal to 0. All righty. <clears throat> So, our a1 is 0. Now, now what we're going to do is we have used these expansions over here. Now we have to use these series over here. So everything starts with n equal to 2, and there are all coefficients of n to the power x to the power n plus r minus 2. You can see that. So that makes our job very easy. 
So I've written right here, I've written n plus r, n plus r minus 1, a n, x bar, n plus r minus 2, then this is this term, and then this is this term, and then this is this term over here. Just let me check the camera. Okay. We're going to go a little faster. So I have taken this x to the power n plus r minus 2. I have factored it out from all these. And there's another difference that uh, there are some ans, and there's one an minus 2. So I factored an, so I get n plus r, n plus r minus 1, that's my an. Then this is here, n plus r over here. And then there's minus p squared over here. That's my an. And there's only one for an minus 2, so that's over here. So these coefficients must be equal to 0. Now if you notice this, n plus r, so this will give me n plus r multiplied by n plus r whole square, then minus n plus r, then this would be plus n plus r minus p squared, and this, this cancels out. So if you solve this thing, you're going to simply get a n, and this you can move on this side, minus a n minus 2, divided by n plus r whole square minus p squared. So that's my reference relationship, and that's what I was talking about. Now this reference relationship depends on this value of r. So what value of r we use, that's what's going to give us these coefficients. You know, we had different coefficients over there. <clears throat> so I substitute r1 equal to plus p, which is the larger solution of the initial equation. And if I do that, we'll worry about the other one next, uh, further, as we move on. So from this reference relationship, I get a n equals to minus a n minus 2 divided by n, and r is equal to p. So n plus p whole square is n square plus p square plus twice n p minus p squared. p square, p square cancel, so that is a minus a n minus 2. And I just factored out n, so this would be an n twice p. And I'm writing it as a n equal to minus a n minus 2 divided by n, and n plus 2p. So that's my reference relationship corresponding to r1. <clears throat> now, notice this thing over here. We said a1 equal to 0. So if I put n equal to 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So that will give me a1. This is a3, this is a1, a1 is 0, so a3 becomes 0. If I choose n equal to 5, so that's my a5, that becomes my a3, and we just said a3 is 0, so a5 will be 0. So what I'm saying is that the, all the odd ones, a1 equal to 0, then a3, a5, a7, all the odd ones will be 0. So only even AN's uh, must be there, even powers of, um, anyway. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I put n equal to 2. I know my A1 is 0, so I'm going to start n equal to 2. I put n equal to 2, so that gives me minus A0, 2, multiplied by 2 plus 2p over here. So I just basically get 2, yeah, so I just got uh, wrote, rewrote this thing for some, some oh, okay, I will just change it. So this is a minus a naught divided by 2, twice p plus 2. Now, odd ones are 0, so I'm going to just calculate the even ones, so a4, so a4 will be minus a2, which is this one, and this would be our 4, n is 4, 2p. But a2 is this value, so if I substitute this, I get a naught divided by 2, multiplied by 4, twice plus p plus 2, twice p plus 4, and you know, you just keep on going in like that. So we started with this differential, with this solution, you know, we said our solution is going to be y equal to a n x to the power n plus r. For r equal to p, I'm interested in r equal to p right now, so I expand this thing. 
So I get y equal to n equal to 0, so a naught x to the power p, because n is 0, r equal to p. And this will be a1 p to the power x to the power p plus 1, n equal to 1. n equal to 2 will be a2 x to the power p to the power uh, x to the power p plus 2. a3 will be x to the power p plus 3, so on and so forth, you know. But we know a3, a1, a3, all the odd ones are 0. So we're going to get only your a0, a2, and all those. So I just know the values of my a0, a2, and everything. I just put it over here. I get a series like, so the first solution of the Bessel's equation is going to be y1 equal to, I can take it out, uh, just factor it out, <clears throat> a0, right from here. All of them, the even ones, they have a0 with them, so I just take out a0. <clears throat> That's going to give me AP. And then I have this for uh, x to the power p plus 2 term, which will be minus x to the power p plus 2 divided by 2, 2p two plus 2. Then I have my 4, x to the power p plus 4, and that's going to be 2 multiplied by 4, 2p plus 2, 2p plus 4, so on and so forth. So this is the first solutions of the Bessel equation. And then I'm going to go proceed. Um, this is not done yet. We can write it in much simpler form. Uh, so that will be my next lecture. Thank you very much. <clears throat>